Anderson, the Spider, Silva. If there is any fighter in the UFC that absolutely deserves to have his prime version represented properly in the game, it is Anderson Silva, 100%. The man, for a very long time, I mean, I'm not the only one who said this, but for a very long time, he was like the, um, he was the guy that you look at to see what a, a tr like, what a true, true, true mixed martial arts fighter actually is. The dude was absolutely lethal. The kind of guy that you couldn't possibly imagine who could come out and beat him. Like, who could be the guy to step in the octagon and beat Anderson Silva? He was that guy. He was mythical like that. At one point, he was even more mythical than John Jones was. You know, it was it was Anderson Silva at the time. It was uh, GSP at the time. It was Jose Aldo at the time. But Anderson Silva was very, very, very special. Like, and you just knew... <laughs> There was no doubt in your mind that he was going to win the fight every single time his opponent, every single time he stepped in the octagon, you just knew he was going to win. Even if he's losing, he's going to find a way to come back and win the fight. So, excuse me. It's good to have prime version of Anderson in the game. Um, a version of him that is, that is actually competitive that you can use against other um, characters in his weight class. So, happy about that. Let's see. Let's get it. Let's get it. Check. All right, we're facing Marvin Vittori. Marvin Vittori is a very good pick in this weight class. I've said that before. Um, he moves okay. He actually has good hands. He's a southpaw. He, he's, he's pretty similar to uh, Robert Whitaker. He really is. Kick. Oh. Now this dude is backing up so much. Typically, when they do that, of course, I, I want to try to shred them and get them out of there. But with Anderson Silva, we're going to have to keep things clean. My opponent is really moving and trying to get me down. He's, his whole entire game right now seems to be avoid striking, get the fight to the ground. Which is exactly what they did against Anderson Silva when he was, uh, when he was still champion everybody that fought him the game plan was the same how can we drag his ass to the ground so we can avoid having a strike with this man then of course when you uh, take him down you're dealing with a jujitsu black belt a man who uh tapped out oh god he got it <laughs> i'm okay a man who tapped out dan henderson rear naked choked him after hurting him on the V, Ray Nicker choked him. A man who uh, submitted Chael Sonnen, of course. He's got a few submissions in his career, for sure. I do apologize for how loud it is right now in the background. This is not going to be the cleanest audio you guys have ever heard. The washing machine is going. It's loud as hell. And I've got my daughter in the background, too, screaming her head off, so... As long as you guys can hear me. We're slowly getting to a point now where... Oh, he got it again. We're slowly getting to a point now where I might need to get an office. Maybe. We'll see. If you guys don't give a shit about the, the background noise from time to time, then I won't bother. go bridge hard recover half guard you fake that no he's up all right he's being very methodical with the ground and pound because he doesn't want to lose position or lose too much stamina. Yeah, th this man really wants to just stay on top. Pretty clear what the goal is. Pretty clear the goal is get the fight to the ground, stay on top. Even if I'm not doing a lot of damage, I want to maintain top position. So, I guess we're going to have to prevent him from doing just that. I'm ready. Let's get it. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. 
We were close on that glove touch. Like kick. Like kick. Oh, nice. I, I, honestly, I really love that EA did this, to be honest with you guys, man. Like, they got to get credit. Where is due? Really love that they added these some of these icon fighters, man. I wish they would do more, more stuff like this, as opposed to just, you know, careful. As opposed to just saying, uh, the game is old now. It's been out for about two years or whatever. Uh, no more updates. Like, just update the game throughout the, its life cycle until the next one. God damn it. Dude, he is actually beating my ass right now. But I know why he's beating my ass. I'm trying to keep this as clean as possible. I don't want to start. I don't want to start sh trying to shred him. So, this is the Anderson Silver experience right here. This fighter experience where we get taken down a few times. Maybe get hurt a couple times on the feet. But we're going to get him. I will get him. I promise you guys that. No. Denied that one. Get up. Oh, he's about to drag me down again. <laughs> now he's got my back. He's got double hooks in. I wish there was a way to prevent that second hook before he got it in. Like, I wish there was a way that... I wish the second hook was a transition you had to get. You know what I mean? And then from the second hook, you could even get the, the, the body triangle on the, on the lower body. Like you could in UFC on Disputed 3. They just need, they need more transitions, really. More minor transitions. Like, some of these transitions happen automatically in the game, and I don't like that. Like, one of them is keeping your guard closed. Careful. That happens automatically. The moment you get taken down, your fighter automatically closes his guard, regardless of their... Got him! Regardless of their jujitsu level, they automatically perfectly close their guard, and I'm like, that, that has to be a skill, you know? It would be nice if that is something we controlled ourselves, whether our guard is kept close, closed or not. And also, just because my guard is open, doesn't mean that you can pass it, you know? There are multiple ways to play open guard. It's like, the game, it's like, my guard is closed, now he's opened my guard, he has passed. It's like, uh, no. I can keep my guard wide open. It's, you know, there, there are multiple different kinds of guards, and I'd like to see the game start representing a lot of these different guards, you know? Like, can we get De La Hiva in here? I mean, there's a way to, 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 to secure De La Hiva and no gi. Fighters do it all the time. go now we have rubber guard for sure we got closed guard in the game we've got rubber guard i'm trying to remember if we have a proper b butterfly guard in this game i don't think we do i'm drawing a blank for some reason oh look at this dude there you go oh that was close careful Set him down again. Someone like uh, Charles Oliveira loves De La Hiva. He was, she was, she was trying to use it against Michael Chandler. I'd like to see that I'd like to see it added to the game. It's my favorite guard too, so I'm a little bit biased towards it. Oh, he got me again. Yeah, this is what happens when I'm not like moving forward and being a terminator. Um this small strikes will get in. Just because of the way the fucking game works, man. 
All right, let's do some Anderson Silva work right here. Rope a dope a dope a dope a dope. Or a front kick. <laughs> Sit him down again. I want it. I want it. Oh, Jesus. I am playing a dangerous game right now, folks. I am playing a very dangerous game. Can I get another front kick? Can I get one more? Yes. Oh! Give me that. Give me that. Yes. Uh-huh. Give me that dance, Anderson Silva. Yeah, baby. Woo! Heck yeah. That was emphatic. That was emphatic. I was afraid this was about to go to a decision, bro. But we got him out of there with a beautiful head kick. Let's move on. I hope you guys are enjoying these fighter showcases. Well, I definitely hope so. Hope you are. If you are, leave a like. This one is against Robert Whitaker. Robert Whitaker is definitely a reaper in this in this weight class. And he is going at me. Look at this. Okay. You guys always wanted to see what I how I deal with someone that's trying to shred me, right? This is your chance. <laughs> that was very close. I think that scared him. That scared him a little bit. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> Respect to you too, Blaze Damon. I think he's smart. He's smart enough to know that I am not freaking out from his pressure. That's the first thing you notice if you're a good player. If you're a good player and you're pressuring somebody, you can tell when they're freaking out. When they're freaking out, you know you're going to get them out of there real quick. I don't know. But when they're not freaking out, you know to be very careful because they're, they're, they're looking to set your ass up. They're looking to snipe you. So... From my posture, I'm clearly not freaking out from what he's doing. That only means one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're tagging him. See, we're fighting back. I'm fighting back. I'm not just... Not just backing up, I'm, I'm fighting his ass back. Uh -huh, sit him down, and then when, when, we start, when we start sitting him down, you gotta move forward a bit. Move forward a bit, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There's a front kick. A few of my favorite Adam again anti-pressure combos. Let me give you guys a few. You'll notice I'm hitting them with the cross and the right hook. Cross hook. Cross hook. The reason you want to lead with the cross is because the cross has quite a bit of stopping power. It's fast enough. It's and it's it's powerful. You lead with the cross, follow up with the right hook. With the hook from your lead hand. And that's a very, very good shot to kind of halt them a little bit. Another one is the cross into the lead uppercut. It's a very good combination to use against someone that's pressuring you. Another is the jab, jab cross. Just a simple jab cross. Simple jab cross. And then the jab to the lead body hook. With that combination, if they're pressuring you really, really hard, you can plant and just rip it over and over again. Jab, lead body hook, jab, lead body hook. 
If they're dumb, they're gonna keep moving forward and you're just gonna shred their body. If they're a smart player that knows what he's doing, you're gonna hit him with that twice and he's gonna know, okay, I need to respect that. So that's more of a, that's more of a combo against like a player that doesn't know what the hell he's doing is I hit him with this flying knee. You gotta make it a nightmare for them to try to pressure us. Come on, backing up with this cross. There it is, sit him down. Also, like, like right there, a simple cross. Just boom, just, just tap them with the cross when they're moving forward. You hit him with the cross, back up. Just boom, hit him, take a step back. Oh, he got me. Oh, look at this, he's shredding me now. We fine though, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. But make no mistake, this is a difficult difficult style to deal with in UFC 4. It is. So then down with the cross hook. That is why I try to advise everybody, man. Do not be the guy that's backing up. Not in this game, man. Especially if you're fighting a good player. Not in this game. You're gonna find yourself at a disadvantage. Now, no. Bird. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I see it. I'm gonna fake it a few times and then I'm gonna go. And he got up. Careful. Damn, I was going for a flying knee and he caught me at that moment. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Don't get me stuck here. I shouldn't have done that. Well, makes for a good fight for you boys. That's for sure. Careful. <laughs> Shoots again. Yeah, my man is doing a good job with these, uh, with the way he's playing right now. This is MMA. He's, uh, no. Ah. Heck no. Heck no, I'm not letting you get that. No. Trying to set up an arm bar? You don't have it, brother. You don't have it. <laughs> the fact that they gave Addison Silva a slam. Pick him up and slam him on his head. <laughs> oh my god, man. Big difference between uh, MMA and Jiu Jitsu. You cannot slam your way out of submissions in BJJ. You can't pick somebody up and slam them on their head in Jiu Jitsu competitions when they've got you in a submission, especially an arm bar. Now you stack them, stack, 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 stack. Do not try to pull the arm out. Stack, 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 and then, and then shit like shimmer it, little by little, little by little, little by little. Escape the elbow, and you're good to go. When it's uh, I've never tried the hitchhiker escape because I'm I'm like terrified of doing it. I'm like scared shitless of doing it, but I've seen it work. I've seen it work at the highest levels. But it's like a last resort kind of thing. It's like the armbar is already locked in. That's your final. That's the last resort. Gee, yo. Dude, this is backing up like this is a pain in the ass, bro. They could just line you. What the hell was that? Got him. Yeah, I'm gonna move forward a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. It's amazing the advantage you get when you're advanced in this game. Like you, you have to, bro. 
Alright. Let's see if we can do something. Ah! <laughs> Wait. Oh, let's see if we can do something. Let's see if we can be elusive right here. Nope. Get my ass fucking clobbered again. Jeez. And you and you go and do that, bro. And you go and do that. Oh my god. And you go and do that. You know, great fight to you too, bro. Jeez, you were you were winning. You were winning. You were winning the fight, man. And you go and start doubling up on the body body shot. That would have this would this this would have been a good loss to post. It really would have been. Cause he was winning. But I guess in the classic Anderson Silva fashion, we come back and we get it done. I'm happy. I am happy with that. All right, folks. Ladies thank you so much for watching. Next up is going to be GSP. If you guys are enjoying, if you enjoyed the video, go right ahead and leave a like. And I'll definitely see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.